Hey guys, what's up? So it's been a month since Apple released their iOS 12 update on September 17th and a lot of iPhone users said that they saw a dramatic improvement in their iPhone speed after they updated their old iPhones to the new iOS. But iOS 12 wasn't just about that. There are also some other pretty cool features that nobody is talking about. Here are some of the awesome hidden features in iOS 12. If you have 3D Touch enabled on your iOS device, you can turn the keyboard into a trackpad by firmly pressing on the keyboard. All the letters will go blank and you can move the text cursor around. This saves you time by not having to press and hold for the magnifier, and then place the text cursor where you want it to be. I love this new feature. Number 2. You can now add a second appearance for Face ID. This comes in handy if your appearance drastically changes for some reason and your phone has issues recognizing you. The addition of the second appearance for Face ID will then have pre-existing data on the iPhone to recognize the drastic change like growing out a beard, wearing glasses, etc. To do this, go into Settings, scroll down to Face ID and Passcode, then press on Setup and Alternate Appearance. Number 3. USB Accessory Lockout Apple has always valued privacy of their customers. In a very controversial move, Apple has now added a feature in the iOS 12 update that prevents external USB accessories from assessing your iPhone's content after an hour of being locked out. Initially, this was 7 days. Although it improves the privacy of Apple's customers, other people argue that this new default behavior will make it harder to do law enforcement investigations, like using the popular gray key tool to break into locked iPhones. This security measure is automatically turned on when you update to iOS 12 and on the new iPhones. If you want to disable this feature, go into Settings, go into the Face ID and Passcode tab, then scroll down to USB Accessories. If this is switched on, then your phone is unlocked to allow access to USB Accessories. If you want to keep the lock on, you switch this off. Number 4. The iOS 12 adds location awareness to the Do Not Disturb feature on the iPhones. Just 3D touch on the Do Not Disturb icon in the control center. You can just press the Until I Leave This Location option if you're in a meeting or at a certain place where you don't want your phone to ring. The Do Not Disturb feature automatically turns off after you leave that location. To access this feature, first make sure your 3D touch is on by going into Settings, then General, then press the Accessibility tab and scroll down to 3D Touch. After it's on, pull up the control center, 3D touch the moon do not disturb icon to open up the menu, then press until I leave this location whenever you're in a location where you want your ringer and notifications to be off. Number 5. 3D touch is an extremely useful iOS feature that a lot of people are completely forgetting about. It can definitely be useful in certain situations. The iOS 12 update adds a few new shortcuts for certain apps that are very helpful. For example, if you firmly press on the notes icon, a menu opens up with options of instantly scanning a document or a shortcut to the camera app to add a picture to your notes. Number 6. Now you can search for songs in Apple Music with lyrics. This feature is for those instances when you can't remember the name of the song but only know a couple words from the lyrics. You can obviously use Google for this too, but having this feature built right into the music app is so convenient. Number 7. There are now additional Siri accents. Initially, Siri offered only three English accents, American, Australian, and British, with both male and female variants. The iOS 12 update added additional Siri accents like Irish and South African voices. To access this, go into Settings, scroll down to Siri and Search, then press Siri Voice, and you'll find the accents there. All these new iOS 12 features are pretty amazing in their own ways. Hopefully this helped some of you guys out. I'll definitely make more videos about the iOS 12 as Apple improves it with updates over time. So please make sure to subscribe to my channel for useful content about your iPhones. Until next time guys, take care.